Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and today we are going to do a room called No SQL Injection Basics, a walkthrough depicting basic No SQL injections on MongoDB. So let's dive right into it. First of all, you have to download your VPN, which you can download by going to you know access and downloading your configuration file from here. And after that, in your terminal, you have to type open vpn and your configuration file mine is mr robot underscore try hack me dot ovpn press enter and after you see initialization sequence completed this means that you have connected to the try hack me vpn let me show you you can type if config and you will show an additional interface by the name of turn zero and this is my ip 10.8.130.2 so let's start this room Okay, so it's all theory much like MySQL, MariaDB or PostgreSQL, MongoDB is another database which can store data in an ordered way. Okay. Okay, MongoDB allows you to group multiple documents with a similar function together in higher hierarchy. Structures called collections for organization purposes. So a group of documents when combined are called as collection in you know no sql mongodb and after when when multiple collections are finally grouped then in databases okay during the database if you want to build a filter so that only the document where the last name so we, are, we have to retry uh, something uh, something from the document uh, in which the last name we have to retrieve retrieve the document in which the last name is sandler the query looks like this double brackets and inside last name which is equals to sandler okay if you want to uh, filter the documents where the gender is male and the last name is phillips gender equals to male last name is equals to phillips if you want to retrieve all the documents where the age is less than 50 all the documents then it is dollar sign lt okay so this would return the second and third document notice that we are using a dollar sign LT operator in the nested array in our nested array operations allow for more complex filters by nesting conditions a complete reference of possible operators can be found on this link so let's go to this link okay the pages are taking a while to load Let's refresh this again. Reload this again. Okay, has it worked? Yes, it has worked now. Okay, a group of documents is in MongoDB is called collection. We already read this in the first line, which is which was right here that multiple uh, documents combine together and the multiple documents when combined together is called collection. Okay, using the MongoDB operator reference, find the operator to filter data when a field isn't equal to a given field. When a field isn't equal to a field, let's see, and he matches all values that are not equal to a specific field. So I think it is dollar sign NE not equals when the field value isn't equal to a given value. Following the example of th three documents given before, how many documents would be returned by the following filter? Gender does not equals to female, means male, we are looking for a male, and age, dollar sign $GT. Let's see what it is, dollar sign $GT. Matches values that are greater than a, okay, matches value that are greater than a specific value. So if we are looking for a male, which is greater than 65 years from this you know database okay first of all there is only the maximum age here is 65 it is male but we are looking for more than 65 so uh, no document I guess zero and this is the answer so let's start our machine now make sure to start your machine and navigate to your IP address to start the exercise okay let's read this how to inject no sql when looking at how no sql filters are built passing bypassing them to inject any payload might look impossible it's all theory so it, it is showing us a http request 
which is user post mongodb username equals to user we saw the same syntax before and password equals to pass dollar sign pass the web application is making a query to mongodb using the my app database on login collection my app database okay the database is my app and login is the collection uh, requesting any document that passes the filter username equals to user and password equals to dollar sign pass and both user and password are obtained directly from the http post parameters so this is not when we ought we have to set uh, somehow we should send an array to the user password variables with the following contents not equals to this username the filter would end up looking like this okay so this is so i think we have to deal with uh, web request so let's uh, so let's start burp suite first okay we have read this let's move on to task 3 okay bypassing the login screen so let's navigate to the ip first i think it should yes our vpn is connected machine has started this is the request uh, why hasn't burps started let me again okay i think no no we don't want to cancel this let's try next so start burp and i think this okay let's close this it is starting our project this will take a while so let's move to here first of all let's open the website and send an incorrect username password to request to burp so let's type any and the password be like hello okay the burp suite okay i have started multiple instances of burp suite so let me cancel out leave okay next start burp suite. okay i'm using foxy proxy in which uh, i have explained what is foxy proxy it is like you know you can send different proxies whenever you are working with different applications like uh, zap and burp suite and many other you can set your proxy just by you know editing it for once and using it forever i've already did for burp let's start burp proxy okay we don't need this let's go to proxy mozilla let's send this request to burp first okay it has intercepted this request let's send it to repeater as well okay so we have sent first thing we have done it has captured the request and it looks like username equals to this and password equals to this yes we supplied the username different and password different but it looks the same request it is the same request and now we proceed to intercept another login and modify the username and pass variable to send the desired arrays okay username does not equals to this and password does not equals to this okay so username we already saw this operator which was dollar sign not equals to this and password this dollar sign not equals to okay something okay let's forward this request let's forward this request and go to our ip but we see we see username admin but we don't see his password we don't see his full name but we see his email Okay, is that a question here by, by, by when bypassing the login screen using the not equals to dollar sign not equals to operator which user are you logged in as we are logged in as admin let me see yes we are logged in as admin okay we have to turn off burp to answer this question and we have now let's move on to task 4 Uh, login in as other users you have managed to bypass the applications login screen but with the following former technique we can only log in as the first user returned by the database okay uh, by making use of the nin operator we are going to modify our payload so that we can control which user we want to obtain the dollar sign nin 
operator allows us to create a filter by specifying criteria where the desired documents have some field not in a list of values so if we want to log in as any user except for the user admin we can modify our payload to look like this so it is just saying user dollar sign nin uh, again brackets equals to admin this means i want to know the user uh, except admin so let's go to burp suite our intercept is on let's go back a directory let's okay Verb suite. Let's specify the username as admin and the password as admin. Let's send this request. Okay, we are using it. It is not admin. We want to see a user except admin. And is this the request payload? Okay, and password does not equals to this. Okay, so let's go to here and dollar sign any password does not equal to admin let's forward this request and go to our machine and we see a user no name uh, whose name is pedro so is that a question here how many users are there in total there is a user that starts with the letter p what is his username we know that it's pedro okay we have to turn off burp here Send this request. Okay, let's start our burp again. How many users are there? So we know that there are two users here. Uh, let's go back a directory. Send this request again. And go to user dollar sign nin this and and we know that there a user another user exists by the name admin so dollar sign nin this 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 equals to pedro and password does not equals to admin let's forward this request okay and let's forward it again let's see Okay, it is showing again Pedro. What was the request again? Let's go back. Send admin. Admin. Send this request. Dollar sign. N I N. This. This. This equals to Pedro. And user. Dollar sign. N I N. This, this this equals to admin and password does not equals to admin I think it's the right syntax okay let's forward this let's see what we okay we see a user John as well so I think we have found three users till now okay let's see how many users are there so there are three users in total Okay, we have to turn off the intercept first. Extracting users' passwords. So this is the last task of this room. We have to extract passwords. Okay. Uh, extracting users' passwords. At this point, we have access to all the accounts in the application. However, it is important to try to extract the actual passwords in users. They might be used in other services. To accomplish this, we are using the dollar sign rejects, which is regular uh, regular expression operator, to ask a series of questions to the server that allows us to recover passwords via a process that resembles playing the game hangman i have no idea i have never played hangman so let's first let's take one of the users discovered before and try to guess the length of his password we will be using the following payload so the payload is it is specifying in brackets that it is using regular expression and the syntax is you know uh, raised to the power sign dot braces seven braces or and dollar sign at the end so what is this 
this basically represents a wild card word of length 7 so wild card actually let me explain to you what is a wild card so okay I have let me uh, go to a directory first let's make a directory uh, let's make a directory uh, mongo db try hack me let's cd into this and let me show you uh, what is a wild card let me say i have created a file called file i have created another file by the name file1 i have created another file by the name file2 okay i have created three files now let me create of another file called uh, pass okay okay or let me uh, folder uh, i have created now three four files so let me show you uh, how we can use a wildcard and what it is trying to explain by using a wildcard so i if i have to remove file you know these three file one file two and file i have to you know type one by one remove file one at, uh, but if i want to let's see i have removed this file let me create this again file one and create file so as you can see that i have if i have to remove this you know three files i have to type one by one but i can remove these all this file at once except folder by using wildcard i will say remove fy and i will you know type uh, this sign star sign so what this represent is remove all the files which begins with the you know alphabet fi so let me type enter and now you will see only folder is left so that's how wildcards work so that's this is what it, it is trying to say okay okay so what what is john's password okay so we have to first guess what is the length of the password and after knowing the length we have to know the content which is by you know uh place to power sign the alphabets and dollar at the end so let's go to here and we are looking for john's password john and let's say his password is i don't know uh, let's say pass is his password which doesn't matters actually because we are going to guess the length of the password so let's intercept this request and see is the john user is the user we want to know the password yes john is the user okay so let's send this request to burp password we are using dollar sign rejects that is regular expression and in place of password we are going to use uh, raised to power sign dot braces let's see if it is of seven letters Alf you know seven alphabets or several correct uh, seven characters let's send this request to repeater send this request and what are we looking for in the request we are looking for a response where it says location equals to this you know okay so seven is not the length of the password let's try eight okay we have found it is the length of the password so we now we know the john's user's password is seven you know i mean eight characters long so let's start guessing it okay let's see a one two three four five six seven seven dots a i think this is this was the syntax yes this is the syntax let's send this request and no a is not the first character of the password so actually we can do something let's send this to intruder and let's go to positions and let's clear this all out and in we are looking for the first character so let's add this let's go to payload we are using a sniper attack so i think uh, let's uh, you know okay i have uh, let's uh, we can do all we can do is you know type all the characters here so that it tries them one by one so i think let's go to pulp chrome no i think we can type it 
let's try i think i have created a i have a word list let's me see let's g edit this payload.txt and in this payload i have created all the alphabets uh, a b c and then their capital and then a b c in capitals and and at the last i have also typed numbers and special characters so let's control a to select this all control c to copy it and let's paste it here i think we can paste it here yes so let's start our attack okay what i am looking for is a difference in the you know length if you see the difference in the length in any then you know it means that this the response is different so let's see if we have found anything okay let me see my uh have i placed the correct number of dots one two three four five six seven dots and the first character that we are trying to find i think we are good to go it should find okay so it is not a character as you can see that it has tried 28 but it was not a small alphabet it is not a small alph alphabet the first character of our password is not a alphabet i mean small alphabet we are going to find if it is also not a capital alphabet this zg is actually mistyped okay we don't see a difference in the length Okay, let's let's allow this to run first and we are looking for John's password one of the users seems to be reusing his password for many services find which one and connect through SSH to retrieve the flag so let's see if it has found the first character no it has not found not yet okay it is if you are i'm using burp suite community edition but if you are using uh, uh you know burp suite paid burp suite then it will run a bit fast okay still hasn't found anything what is the first character so i showed you actually what was the payload list it is nothing but just alphabets numbers the capital number uh, alphabets and the special characters because that's what the password can be okay okay we have found a request in which the response you know length is 307 okay i think this is correct so one is the first character so let's go to burp suite let's go here clear this out one and let's try a uh, intruder attack on second and we can cancel this out because we don't need this anymore let's add this let's send this to payload start attack okay one two three four five six dots one we know the post let me show you that we are right one send this request and you know uh, you can see that the location here is secret place dot php so first you know one is the correct corrector alphabet for the password first corrector for the password and let's we'll see what are the other so again it's not a alphabet as you can see that the all the length responses for using alphabet is same we are looking for a anomaly like a you know a difference here in length in response okay so i think it is also a number maybe let's see okay so i think these are the last two questions of this task five and we will complete this room okay has he found anything If you want to skip this video uh, right here you can and you can just forward it to where I found you know uh, all the characters because it will take a few minutes.
to guess all the characters because you know I told you I'm using a community version which is you know for students and if you are using a paid version that it will run a quite uh, run a lot faster I think it's also a number but let's confirm this Okay, it is not one, but is it two? No, it is not two, it is not three. Okay, it is not four. What is it? it it's not five. Let me see my request another time. Okay, let's go to intruder and one two three four five six i am losing correct number of dots i have specified let's see has it found anything okay so zero is the you know three zero seven is the length so that this is the you know difference in response all are 188 and only one is three zero seven so this is the second uh, character of our password so let's clear this out and now I think that all are maybe you know numbers there aren't any characters used in this password I can be wrong but let's try this now let me change my payload to clear all this let's try 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 okay it is using 9 can I remove this yes I can 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 let's try this okay okay so the third character is 5 you can see the response here 307 on 5 let's go to proxy let's go to intruder let's go to repeater first one is 0 then it was 5 let's see if we are right or wrong we are right let's go to intruder positions clear this out you know that it's five let's add another one let's add this start the intruder attack again let's see what we get okay we get eight number eight let's clear this out we know it's number eight let's try here adding it starting our attack Okay, 4 is the next number. Clear this out. 4. Let's add this. Start our attack. Okay, now 3 is the next number. So let's clear this out. I think three let's add last start our attack so one is the number okay let's clear this out one and let's see what is the last Add this start this attack so 2 is the last number of the password we have found the 8 characters clear this out I guess it was 2 let's copy this here paste it here and let's we forgot to turn off our proxy let's see Okay, we have found the username Johns and it said that we have to connect to SSH. So let's do SSH John at the rate 10.10.127.148. Yes, let's paste the password. Okay, permission denied. So we cannot log in actually. 
let's cancel this out so John is not the user so we have to I guess try to find the password of Pedro user Pedro user and I guess the syntax was dot braces 8 this let's send this request okay 8 characters long it is not let's see if it is 9 characters long no it is let's see 10 okay it's quite a long password so let's see 11 okay it is 11 characters long password so i think we will go send this to repeat intruder positions clear this out and let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 i guess am i right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 let's add all of these and see if we can find let's adding this going to the position payloads uh, let me copy out the payload.txt Control A to select all, Control C to copy it. Going to pursuit, we have our intercept on. Let's, I think let's on it. We are going to paste it here and let's start our attack. Let's see if we can find it this way. Okay, I think we have to do this one by one. I don't think so it's it's going to work like this okay so we have to find one by one yes we have to do this one by one so let's cancel out okay it will take again take a lot of time let's clear this out take the first one add it start your attack and see what we have got okay we have found the first is c okay let's clear this out c and let's try to find the second character adding this starting our payload so c is the first character of our password Okay, so we have found O as the second one. Cancel this attack, clear it out, and see O. So let's try to find the other one. Start this attack. So let's try to find it now. Let's see. okay it has found o again so i guess o is the you know first four characters so let me clear this out because it only makes sense because c o o and i don't think it will type a you know different or a difficult password for this basic no sql injection app so let's add this but however let us see if i am right or wrong let me see I think L is the alphabet for which we get yes L is the alphabet I was right let's clear this out and cool. is the first four letters first four alphabets of a password let's add this try to attack we have find the first four words first four alphabets now we are finding the rest i guess how many uh, seven more we have to find
okay we get a response on p so p is the fifth character so let's clear this out let's let's add another cool maybe cool password i think let's see adding this starting our attack okay so a as i said i think it is cool password let's clear this out p a and trying s now i think okay let's add our attack let me go to repeater to see it is cool p a let's see how many alphabets four six five left let's send this request to say yes i am right up to here let's see if s is right yes it is let's see if again s is right google password i think it is google password let's see w okay so it is not google password but we are right up to google password so so let's go to intruder i think we know the words let's clear this out and type ss and let's see what is the third let's add this start our attack okay, and let's see okay so i guess this was our intruder attack going this is number 16 i don't think we need this let's okay ssh using federal user and okay the password is cool pass and i don't know the last three characters of it so let's see what is it okay it is trying to find it is trying to find where am i where am i I'm at repeater code pass and okay it was three actually okay yes it is three more characters to find so let's see what do we have here okay I think it's also not a you know alphabet because for all the alphabets we get the same length but I think it is a number or a special character just be a little quick be a little quick let's see let's move on to numbers and characters okay 47 48 so we have to find the try hackme flag okay so let's see what does it have And if you know a quicker way than this to do this, then please comment in the comment section. This is the way that I have found. There can also be another way to do this a bit quick. One. So cool pass one. Okay, so let's go to repeater. Cool pass one. Is it right? Yes, it is. And let's see if it is it is simple as one, two, three or not. Okay, so yes, it is one two three. Let's see, cool pass one two three. Okay, okay, we have got this. Cool pass one two three is the password of pet user. So let's SSH. Cool pass one two three. Okay, we have SSH into the machine. So let's cat out flag dot text txt. Flag is no SQL, no life. Let's copy this. Let's here go here. Let's go to turn off of our proxy and paste it here, and that's it. 
so that's it for this video and thank you for watching